Welcome to Collectors of the Coast. I am Cash, and we are doing a pack battle today. Uh, my friend uh, Devin is, uh, DJ Devin is in it. Um, we're doing some mystery, mystery boosters. We're doing some Corset 2021. I got a new box here. I actually finished off my uh, last box uh, yesterday. I was uh, just dying to crack some packs. Uh, and uh, oh, pulled big. So uh, pulled uh, pretty much most of the best stuff. Uh, pulled Amulet of Vigor in the foil, which of course holds them at a thirty dollar, forty dollar uh, price. Uh, we'll go. Uh, these are or Deb. We'll go him first. Uh, and uh, so we pulled that. Um, we also pulled. Uh, we also pulled. Oh my goodness! I see something good back there. All right. I think that was the card. I think it is. Oh my god! If not, then then Devin's just gonna win off the beginning. Uh, anyways, uh, I pulled uh, that. I pulled uh, the God Perforos. Uh, absolutely huge card. Been a while since he opened Corset 2021, and it was a great set. Uh, looking back, there's actually a number of good cards in it. So, uh, Riddle Form, fun card. Angelic Ascension. Terror of the Peaks, I did see that. Oh, and Volcanic Salt. Okay, that wasn't the big one. Still pretty good. And we got the nice, beautiful forest in this. Uh, still, Terror of the Peaks. I thought it was actually Terror Peaks and Foil. Uh, wow. So you hit Terror of the Peaks to start. A uh, huge advantage for you. Um, you are likely going to get all the cards uh, really nice. So uh, just honestly, this card is just a beast of a card. If you've never played it or played against it, uh, it is tough to beat once it's on the battlefield. So uh, are we going to get a token or something? Oh, it's just a land back there. We got a regular land. Mm. All right. Right. I forgot all of these packs didn't come with those lands. And I should really like those lands. I, I think they're probably, to me, the most undervalued of the lands. So I am uh, definitely going to make a deck uh, with just those lands shortly. I have in the past as well. Uh, Griffin Airy was a nice card uh, when it was in standard. Uh, Dire Fleet Warmarker. Come on, come on, come on. Reign of Elevation. Something else big? See the truth. Pretty good. But And then a foil land. Did we get two lands? So we get two lands. So I guess, did we get a regular land in this one as well? No, we didn't. We just got the, uh, the alt land. Where'd it go? So pretty nice. Double Mythic, Rare, and the land in that pack. Holy. Okay. So uh, looking good, Devin. Uh, got your money's worth pretty much in this opening. Uh, regardless, we even hit the mystery boosters or anything. It was in one pack in. So can we hit other good stuff like that? Uh, so some really nice cards in here. Ugin in this set. I um, actually wanted to do this set because of Ugin specifically, which is Cauldron. Nice. Uh, not a bad uh, sack of creature. Sack outlet. Immolator. Twinblade Assassin, and you got a Sad Robot. Very nice playable card. Keep reprinting it. Not worth a ton, but still pretty nice. Uh, and we got a Cat Token. Hey, a Cat Token. All the foil ones, when I got the foil ones when we were doing the set, they all had the line down the middle. So, uh, But that's not really going to extend your lead, so maybe you need to pull basically an Ugin to catch up here. So, all right. Uh, anyways, uh, it's been, uh, it was super fun. Uh, so the last pack I opened in the last mystery boosters, oh my God, I pulled, actually in the rare slot in the mythic and the foil, I pulled maybe $2 worth of cards, maybe $3 worth of cards. But in the uncommon slot, I pulled a demonic tutor and I pulled a Lotus petal in a common slot. So like $70, $60, $70 worth of cards. Oh, containment priest is actually a pretty good one. Okay. It's not going to hold the same value as Terra of the peaks, but it's actually a good card. Uh, it does hold some value. It didn't get any of the lands. Ah. All right, so we're going to pull two. I'll just pull the top two out of this box. Uh, presume it doesn't matter where we pull from. Never know. First pack, last pack. I Definitely the last pack of that last box was incredible. Um, but there's so many good cards in here. So always uh, interesting to try to do these things. Oh, Dark Spittle Mutation. Windboard Chains already into the Uncommons. I like this card actually a lot. Uh, Wind Drake. Brainstorm. So many good cards. All right. Wind Grace. Brazen Wolves. Got a Lightning Bolt. Still probably holding $2. Lead the Stampede. Playable card. Crows and Tusker. Nice playable card. Mardu Rough Rider. I will mention Crows and Tusker. I've played a ton over the years. One of my favorite land cards. You get you get a card in your graveyard ant that's pretty big that if you need them in a, in a, in a pinch, and you also get the land. All right, reprint from back in, uh, I think this is Weatherlight, Banding, Serendib, a free, not a big one. The beginning of your upkeep, it does one damage to you. And it's a three, four, so not really too well playable. Codex Shredder and the foil. So uh, definitely not a huge mystery booster pack for you. 
Uh, I, I, that's one of the one of the weaker ones I've opened. Uh, so I got a chance. So you see, I got a chance. All right, come on, there's another demonic tutor. Let's see here, mana leak. Weight of the underworld. So I don't think I think I missed a demonic tutor. I think that was actually in all the boxes we opened. I think that was actually the first demonic tutor we've ever opened. So that's pretty cool. There's so many cards in this that you know you can just pull anything. Uh, deals damage to each player equal to twice the number of basic lands that player controls. Wow. Hmm. So it's really interesting in a, in in the right kind of deck, eh? Never played this card in a deck. It's really interesting to to, to make a deck with you know no basics or one basic. I do have a deck with no basic, or with like three basics in it, but I don't think there's red in it. All right, lead by example. Elves of the Deep Shadow. Slave of Bolas. Uh, not very good. All right, Peace Strider. Martyr's Bond. Whenever it or another non-land permanent you control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, each opponent sacrifices a permanent that shares a card type with it. Interesting, interesting. Okay, I got three, I got two cards left. Can we hit something big? Beacon of Immortality is a good card, but not big dollars. And Sark on the mat. So we did pull a Foil Planeswalker. I don't know. I feel like he won. Uh, we will price this up, and, and I will get back with uh, who won. And uh, I think maybe Mr. Devin won. So uh, good luck. I will, like I said, I will price it up. We will get back and uh, film the end of the video. Congrats to Devin. Uh, the uh, totaled things up, and you know that first pack just absolutely slaughtered me uh and uh, so you are the king of cards uh we have went down hard uh man man pretty good opening at least i got over ten dollars uh you know for our canadian watchers it is in american dollars so probably closer to fifteen dollars at least i got in packs which is kind of close to pack value i guess um i mean other than that that one really big card uh it was a pretty close matchup could have went either way, but uh, yeah, you can just see like a card like Terror of the Peaks, uh, such value right now uh, until they reprint it in some kind of alt or form, which I do believe is coming in the next year. Um, so until that happens, uh, it's uh, it's just a winner for sure. So uh, anyways, congratulations. Uh, if you are new to watch the channel, you like this kind of thing, uh, send us a, a, a uh, send us a, a email, uh, collectorsofthecoast at gmail.com. Uh, you can play, or we're on Discord, we're on Facebook, all that kind of stuff. Pretty easy to get a hold of us. Anyway, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a magical day.